Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So it's been a few days since Legion's Imperialis launched and as you can tell, my box has finally arrived. So I thought I'd do a very quick and brief unboxing video just to show you what's inside the box itself and kind of share a few of my initial impressions. So I guess we might as well start by having a quick look at the back. Mine's been making that awful sound ever since I picked it up, so I'm hoping nothing's broken. But you can tell from the box itself that there is an absolute ton of value here. I picked mine up from Alchemist Workshop for about 96 pounds. Uh, sterling here in the UK but even at full RRP wherever you happen to be this box is an absolute steal the Warhound Titans in and of themselves will set you back a hefty chunk of the box price um, but as you can see here on the far right we get 106 Space Marine miniatures remember each of these is an individual miniature five Space Marine vehicles 104 Solar Auxilia models along with six solar auxilia, ve solar auxilia vehicles god i'm going to struggle with that word saying it a lot uh, and of course the two warhound titans um really i am really excited by legions imperialis i know it's not the epic fantasy battles that everyone wanted but seeing the response on twitter and how excited people are getting painting up their own legions and some of the other solar auxilia models that are, are coming out shows me that games workshop i think made the right choice to try this in a familiar setting and hopefully it will pave the way for things in the future but anyways i'll get that out of the way let's talk about the box so let's get this thing open and see what's inside Side. I'm going to try and keep this sort of as short and succinct as possible. Blast templates, that certainly sets me back a long time. How long has it been since we opened a box with blast templates in it? Um, although Horus Heresy probably quite recently. Um, so we get the three blast templates there, which will be very familiar to those of you who have been in Warhammer for a while. The measuring sticks, they've kept the measuring sticks as they were back in the day. Although, funny enough, I never actually used them. I know people are quite nostalgic for them, but... Um, yeah, I do wonder if actually maybe they'll catch anything on the second-hand market, given how some people talk about them. And then it is very much Sprue City. Right, I've managed to actually get uh, some decent angles on these miniatures, so hopefully you can see them almost as clearly as I can here. But this is the Space Marine Sprues, or one of the Space Marine Sprues here. So you can see what seems to be the Tactical Marines here, along with the Cataphracty Terminators just there. Some of the Contemptor Dreadnought Sprues just there. And... It seems to be quite um, a comprehensive set of sprues on here. I know they're selling this as sort of like a infantry pack. So I'm in a way, I'm not surprised they've tried to bundle these onto the same sprue because this is how they'll sell them individually. Uh, and you can even see the jump pack Marines just here. Um, I did try to get in a little bit closer, but it got a bit grainy. So hopefully this is close enough. And then of course the command uh, Space Marines just here. These are absolutely incredible. I mean, the fact they can actually get the detail down to this level and size is absolutely brilliant. I think here we've got one of the Solar Auxilia ones. So you can see what looks like, and I'm not totally familiar with the loadouts just yet. You can definitely see one of the tanks here. I think that's one of the Ogryn arms there. And if I just move that out of the way for a second, you'll be able to see the actual individual solar auxilium models there, which again are absolutely tiny. I mean, you can see they're smaller than a fingernail. The amount of detail here is absolutely brilliant. And as I was saying, I think this bodes well for what could come in the future, because if they can model on this scale and it proves as popular as it's seeming to be, I think there's a lot more they can do on the epic scale in the future, but uh, time will tell. Here we've got more of the Space Marines. I think this is exactly the same sprue as we saw earlier. Yes, it is. You've got the Contemptor up here, a few of the Cataphracty Terminators, the Command Sprue at the bottom, and then the Tactical Marines in the middle. So there's quite a few of them. I'm just going to bring the sprues back into play here. And you can see this is one of the Warhound Titans. Now, one of the things I'm curious about with the Warhounds is whether they come with all of the weapon options. And it's not entirely clear from the box whether you do. Um, as you can see, one of the larger Solar Auxilia... No, that's not... That might be um, one of the Space Marine vehicles. It's always hard to tell when you see the sprues like this. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah. But as you can see... As I was saying, sorry, um, this is one of the other Solar Auxilia sprues. Again, tons and tons of, well, models on these sprues, unsurprisingly, given the size, but a lot to play with. Um, I wanted to say if the Warhound Titans came with 
all of their weapon options because in the box you see the same set all the time and it's not entirely clear whether you get the options for all of the Warhound weapon options on the sprue. I think there's, I think the Melzer cannon, there's another one there. So, and it doesn't look like this is for two of them, although it might be because I can't see many other sprues in the box. Actually, that is about it. That is the only weapon sprue in the box. So if anyone was looking to change the loadout, I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. Although maybe you can. Maybe you can be a better judge than I can at this sort of first glance, but that's what you get as the sole weapon sprue for the Warhound Titans. So it might be lacking in some departments, but it might be enough for what you're planning. Um, and then we get another set of the, that looks like the Predators, I think. Yeah, those are the Predator sprues, which is fantastic. Again, look how small some of these components are. I think you're going to really have a field day if you're into fine detail painting but for me I always find it a bit intimidating to think of the scale that I'm going to have to learn to paint at um, but I've got a lot of time to practice and that is one of the Soda Auxilia vehicles. So finally we just get another um, we get carapace sprue for the Warhound Titan and we get another vehicle sprue for the Soda Auxilia. So in total, we get a decent chunk of sprues here. This is how many are actually in the box itself. Um, plenty of models on each one, so that's gonna keep you busy for quite a while. Um, I don't think these things build very quickly. And then we get to the book itself, which has been, as you can tell here, smashing its way around um, and causing no amount of havoc on everything else in the box. Thankfully, it was shielded away. This looks like... Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, the tokens. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. So these are tokens to use for the actual game itself. And then reference sheets. So yes, that makes sense why they separate them so that one, they wouldn't get damaged and two, they didn't presumably pop out. So you get your, ref uh, your tokens there and two identical reference sheets. And some sprue, uh, sprue sorry, transfers. Plenty to work with there. Again, really fine, really small. Uh, that's gonna take me a while to work on, but I think that's great that they've included it. Although, whether they've got enough for all, all the models, I'm not entirely sure. It depends on how fine you want to be on, and how extensive you want to be with your transfers, but um, you've got enough there for the bulk of the armies, no question. And then the instruction manual. Of course, the most important thing to me right now is how these models come together and Given that a lot of the models are so small, they come together almost as built models, you could say. But uh, it's going to be handy to see how some of these finer vehicles come together because you do not want to get it wrong uh, by any means. And I think that is everything in the box. I think it's just a oh, basis for the Warhound Titans. And that is everything. I think the only thing left to do, actually, is just to quickly show you a glimpse of the rule book. Um, hardback book really good quality and just kind of flicking through this is exactly the same sort of quality as the Horus Heresy exactly the same sort of font so if you've picked up those core books and those expansion books before you'll be very familiar with the sort of layout and the style but here we've got missions some of the rules individual rules for different unit types so here we've got Titans sorry I'll put this down a little bit further so you can actually see what's there um playing the game obviously a massive boon and if i just scroll to the front you'll be able to see hopefully what's in the content itself that is everything you will get in this book and no doubt it will be expanded upon uh, when the expansions start to come out we know the first one is the great slaughter that was revealed in white dwarf not too long ago um, and that's going to have the rules for the skimmers some of the extra vehicles drop pods things like that so um, hopefully it's going to be set in the isban uh, campaign which would be really cool to see and who knows what else we'll get um, and I think of course one of the best things is some of the uh, army showcases because this is going to be a great inspiration for those of us who are still a little bit open-minded as to what faction we want our various armies to come from me personally I'm leaning towards blood angels but I'm by no means decided so let me know in the comment section what you've decided to go for and um, 
yeah, how your armies are coming along. But anyways, that was meant to be a very quick and short uh, unboxing. Hopefully it's given you a sense of what's in the box. So either if you've got it for yourself, you'll uh, be able to share what you thought about the box. And if you haven't got it yet, because it did go out of well, not out of print, it went, it got sold out. Um, when it comes back, hopefully you'll be able to make a bit of an informed decision as to whether you want to pick up this set or buy things individually. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Share your comments in the comment section below and I hope to see you in a future video. But until then, take care.